everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to your daily dose of dance. Today, we are going to uh, go over a couple of body isolation drills for your West Coast swing. And I have a special guest tonight, Benjamin Howard. Hi. He's gonna bring our necessary props. So, everybody, say hi to Ben. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started in a chair. You don't have to be in a chair, but it's a little bit more fun. And if you're at home, nobody can see you anyway. So who cares? So go ahead and take a seat in your chair. Do you wanna tell the story about how the, uh, the chair dance came to be? I was gonna let you tell it. Do you remember? I do remember. Okay. So Benjamin, we were doing a lesson next door in our junior academy. And for the kids' classes, we have mirrors but they're not very high. So Ben couldn't see really his upper body at all. So we created this chair dance, which is super fun and actually uh, very, very useful because it allows you to isolate your upper body a little bit more than uh, using or having to worry about your whole body. So we are going to sit on the edge of our chairs. We are going to make sure that our feet are firmly on the ground don't worry, later on we will stand up and incorporate more into the whole body. But for now, we're just gonna focus on the rib cage. So your hands are gonna be on, your, uh, on the tops of your thighs and we are going to move our rib cage to the right as much as possible. Now we're gonna move it to the left. So if you think about it, somebody's pushing your rib cage to the right and then they're pushing it to the left. Now, if you don't have a lot of movement right now, that's totally okay. We've got to unlock the isolations and that's what we're here to do. So from here, let's go to the right again. So we have right and left and right and left and right and left and right and left. Cool. So now we're going to take that chest forward. We're going to take the rib, ca rib cage and the chest forward and back. We go forward and back and forward and back and forward and back. Cool. Let's do that a little bit more. Again, if you don't have a lot of movement right now, that's totally cool. The more you do these drills, the more movement you will have. You can ask Ben. When we started these, there was not a lot happening up top, but now he's able to release his body a little bit more. Um, and so the more you do it, like I said, the more this will help and the more movement and control you'll have in the isolations of the different body parts. So let's try the ribcage again. Be careful not to push too much though because the muscles in your back will cramp. So whenever you find your limit, whatever that is, just hang out there. Otherwise you'll get over here and you won't be able to go back. Yes. All right. So, and if that happens, you can always take an Epsom salt bath and that cures all. So let's try this. We are gonna go forward with the chest. We're now gonna take it to the right. We're gonna take our chest back and then to the left. So let's try that again. We go forward, side, back, and side. Forward, side, back, and side. Now, we're gonna try going the opposite way. Ballet dancer, if we do it one side, we have to do it the other way too. So, going forward, we go forward, and side, back, and side, forward, and side, back, and side. One more time, forward, back, sorry, back, and side, forward, side, back, and side. So one of the things that we see uh, pretty consistently is people when they first come in asking, how to look less robotic. So we talked about rolling through the feet uh, in one of our other classes with the styling class. For this, uh, the isolations and being able to move your body in a fluid manner up top is also important. So we are going to make sure that we hit all of those points, the forward side, back side, but actually in a circle. So we're gonna go to the right first. We're gonna go forward all the way around to the front. Do a couple of circles, one more, just for fun. Now we're gonna go the other way. So starting forward and to the side, we take it back and around. Side, back, around, side, back, 
side to the front. Cool. So now we're going to move up just a little bit. We're going to skip the shoulders for now. We're going to talk about the head. So the head we are going to take side to side. And you may not see a lot of movement, uh, again, right now. And just in general, if, even if you are comfortable moving, because the head is a little bit harder to move by itself. But you can incorporate that later in a couple of fun ways, being able to move your and roll your neck a little bit for uh, dips and tricks and ducks and all that fun stuff. Hair um, flips. What? Hair flips. Hair flips. Little hairography for you. So we're going to go to the side first. We go right and left. Right and left, right and left, right and left. So even if you feel a little silly doing this, again, we're isolated in our house, so we might as well have a little freedom in our isolation here. Why not? All right, cool. Now we're going to take this forward and back. So we go forward and back, forward and back, forward and back forward and back. We're going to do that in our diamond now. So we're going to go forward to the side, back and side, forward, side, back, side. We're going to roll it out, roll it around, roll it around two more times. Then we're going to go to the other side. So we go forward to the left, back and right, forward, left, back. Right, roll it out, roll around, roll around, roll around, roll around. And hopefully that won't get you too dizzy. You shouldn't be doing this too much, although that does release the neck quite a bit. So if you're not doing that isolation drill, good roll of the neck is also nice too. All right, so now let's go ahead. We are going to get rid of the chairs. We are going to stand up. Since Ben can, well, since you can see all of Ben here, we can stand. So, dang it. This mic thing does not want to stay on. All right. So, we've done our rib cage, we've done our head. We are now going to talk about the hips. For the hips, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to take this in a slight bent position. So you don't want to lock your knees. You do want to have a slight bend. And you're going to take the hips to the right. So we go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left. This is one of Ben's favorite drills. <laughs> left and right, left, right, left, and right. Left. Cool. Now we're going to go forward and back. So we're going to tuck this forward a little bit and send it back. So we go forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. We'll do it facing you directly. We have forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Now we're going to go all four corners. So we go forward to the side, back and side, forward to the side, back, side again, forward, side, back, side and forward, side, back and side. Now let's go ahead and roll that out. We are going to maintain a little bit of a soft knee here um, instead of keeping this straight gives us less movement, so the little more suppleness in our knees. I know. Right on. <laughs> the, the more you leave your knees soft, the easier this will be to kind of isolate your um, hips. So from here, you're going to go forward, roll around, and forward, roll, and forward, roll, and forward, around. Cool. All right, we are now going to try this going to the left. So we go forward first, so forward to the side, back and side, forward, side, back, side and forward, side, back, side. Last time, forward, side, back and side. Now we're going to roll it out. So we roll around, 
roll around, roll around, and roll around. So obviously we're not doing it to music. If there is a song that kind of makes you want to move, Can't Stop the Feeling is a good one. Uptown Funk is a good one to keep the beat going. Um, what we would normally do, we can't play music here, but what we would normally do is each movement would have a beat and the roll around could be four beats around. So we'd do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you wanted to put these movements to music, which I suggest because it's more fun, um, or you can just do it with us as many times as you want. You just hit replay on YouTube or Facebook. Maybe you could dub the music over that. It'd be interesting. There you go. So either way, each movement is one beat if you're playing it with music, and you can use the rolls for four beats a piece. Now, the other thing we're going to talk about are your shoulders. So for your shoulders, a lot of the times there's a lot of this going on. There's a lot of this going on. I know. Actually, you're isolating, so that's good. But from here, you're going to take, we're just going to roll our shoulders back. We're only going to do the right side first. So we go right, back, forward, and back, forward, and back, forward, and back. Now we're going to go back to front, back to front, back to front, back to front, back to front. Now, we did it on our right side, which means we have to do it on our left side. This one, or that one, if you're looking at us. So from here, left shoulder, back, and back, and three, and four. Take it forward, one, and two, and three, and four. Cool. So from here, once you get used to moving your shoulders a little bit more and being able to move them uh, one by one, but also being able to move them together is very, very useful. So now let's go ahead and roll both shoulders back at the same time. We go back and two and three and four. Take it forward, one and two and three and four. Cool. Any questions about what we've done so far? No questions so far. Cool. All right. <laughs> Just checking. All right. So we are now going to add a little bit of an angle to your movement. So for the shoulders, instead of just being straight to the side, we're going to add a little bit of an angle. So we angle and take it back. Now our left shoulder is on this angle to the left. We're going to angle that and take it to the back. So we angle, take it back, angle and back, angle and back, angle and back. So you'll see there's a little bit of a natural movement from, uh, from where your natural, uh, from where your body lands, the weight actually is going to land on the left foot, which means, again, do we need this? We'll find out. All right. <laughs> so from here, once we go on an angle, so we started on this diagonal, and we take that shoulder back. So I'm only moving that shoulder, but now my left shoulder is free. I have a little bit more weight on my left side, which enables me to be in control to change my weight underneath. So there's a little bit of a ripple in the body or cause and effect. From here, when I move the shoulder to the leg or to this angle, from here, it allows me to move underneath as well. So I move my shoulder, but then there's a natural movement that happens underneath as an effect. There we go. Good. And back. And back. And back. And back. Nice. Back. And back. Still going. This is fun. And back. Especially if there's music. So pick a song. Do whatever you want to that. But you can kind of get into it a little bit more. Only think about moving one shoulder at a time, so you're really isolating those parts of the body. So let's go through this again. We're going to do this standing this time, but with our rib cage. So we might have a little bit more movement, but 
Now, we're still going to focus on the rib cage up top. We want to keep those slightly bent knees. Don't straighten them. And we're going to take this to the side. So we have to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Now we're going to take this forward. So forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Now four corners, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back. Side, one more time, back, side. We're gonna roll it out, roll it out. Look at you go, Benjamin. Making sound effects for Megan. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, cool. So now let's go to the left. We have forward for one, side two, back three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, last time, oh, one, two, three, and four. We roll around, and around, and around, <laughs> and around. What have you found is the most challenging thing about body isolation? A um, couple of things. Uh, first thing is making it happen at all. Right on. Um, so figuring out how to actually make things go to the side. So you legitimately, whenever I first started, you would have me either pull my shirt or actually like pull myself to make things happen. Um, so that was the first thing. After that, it was more of, and even now going through things, it's more of figuring out how to apply them within the movements. Um, because if you're not a natural dancer and this is something you're having to think about, then it's something you have to think about forever. Right on. So whenever you're stepping somewhere to the side of remembering that you have to step and take your rib cage with you and not just step to the side and leave it behind. Right on. So a couple of things, or actually a lot of things that you have gone through have come from this drill. So I would recommend, and again, we're in isolation for the coronavirus. Ooh. So you've got ample time to try these things and it's in the comfort of your own house. So. No one can see if you might look a little silly, but who knows? There's probably people around the world doing this drill, so you're not alone. Um, so make sure we've got the rib cage, we've got the hips, we've got the head, we've got the, what else do we do? Shoulders. Shoulders. Now, everything that happens, I was telling, or I was saying earlier, there is a ripple effect. So one thing that we also worked on is actually moving from the rib cage and having the rest of the arm move after that. We have long arms, we can't be in the same track. So once we initiate here, we also have an initiation, usually from the elbow, to start the movement with the arm as well. So once we've isolated this movement, we can use our arms, elbow leads, elbow leads out, elbow leads out. And so this not only applies for West Coast Swing, but it does apply to your other dances too. So for those of you who do, I don't know what's happening behind me, for those of you who do ballroom, country, nightclub, any of that stuff, all of this can be applied to those dances as well. And we'll probably do another maybe arm styling, body movement mechanics uh, class soon. So be on the lookout for that. But really, I think doing these isolation drills and making sure that you're only moving those little parts to the side, forward, and then once you go in those circles, make sure that you are hitting all of those parts. So go slow first. You're never gonna learn something if you try and rush through it. So this takes a lot of repetition. It takes, um, once you do feel more comfortable doing it slow, then you can kind of ramp up the movements and the drills from there. So again, we have our rib cage to the side, 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 side and forward, back, forward, back in an angle, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we roll it out, two, three, four, then to the other side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
Last time, roll it out. We roll. Two, three, four. Good. Then we have our head. So head to the side we go. One, two, three, four, and forward. Back, forward. Back, we uh, forward, side, back. Side, forward, side, back. Roll it out. We roll. And two and three, it's probably the most awkward, but kind of cool. One, other side, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we roll it out, roll it out, roll it out, roll it out. I remember, oh, this makes me think about one of the, it was either Rising Star or Classic Routines, it was Bryn Anderson and someone else, but Bryn Anderson is really, really good at these, the head isolations, I can't remember who she dances with, and that makes me, I really loved the routine, and I can't remember, and. Female dancer and partner. It was at the US Open, so you can check them out, but she does this really cool like movement thing with the head, so it does apply to your West Coast swing. Um, so we have rib cage, we have our head, we have our hips to the sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we go forward, forward, back, Forward, back, forward, back, forward. Now we take a forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. We roll it out, and two, and three, and four. Other side, one, two, three, four, one, two, know. three, four, one, two, three. Last time, one, two, three, four. We roll it out. And two, and three, and four. Cool. So, are there any questions? How many times should someone do this? How, how often should they do it before they see a difference? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the question was, how many times should they do this before they see a difference? Um, as many times as you can, and again, what Ben said earlier, don't push yourself too far, because the more you do this, the more, <laughs> You might get sore from using muscles that you're not used to moving. So um, biggest recommendation is just like anything else with incremental progress. You will want to video yourself doing it the first time you ever do it and then video yourself doing it a couple weeks later because you will not notice the progress. It's so small. You won't notice the progress yourself until you look back at where you started. Just like anything in dance, really. You want to start video yourself early and then video yourself a little bit later because the incremental progress, you don't notice it. There you go. Question, what do we do with the shoulders when we isolate the rib cage? How do the shoulders and rib cage work together? Um, really, they're moving with you. So, question, sorry. Um, say the question again. How do you, what happens with the shoulders while you're moving your rib cage? What happens with the shoulders while you're moving the rib cage? So really, I'm not thinking about the shoulders at all. I'm thinking about moving my rib cage to the side. So even, I think Ben mentioned this earlier, I would have him either pull his shirt to move or I would push it whichever way you're going. But your shoulders, you want to keep them probably lifted. You want them rolled back. But I'm not thinking about those when I'm moving the rib cage. So as long as they're not rolling forward, bad posture, good posture. Then as you're doing this, they should stay in that position. They will move because they're attached to your rib cage. Yes. They will go side to side, but you don't want them going like up while you're doing this or doing anything funny. Staying level. Yeah. And then what are we doing with our feet during the hip, and hip isolations and body rolls? Are they staying fat on the floor, flat on the floor? Yes. So from here, so we talked about. What happens with the feet during the hip body isolations? So what happens with the feet while we're moving the rest of our body? From here, you are not going to lock your knees. You're going to keep them soft. So from here, you shouldn't have to move your feet at all. That's one of the reasons that we did the chair in the beginning, so that they don't move and they stay flat on the floor. Same thing applies when you're standing. That's why we add a little bit of a bend with the knees, but they should not be moving at all. I'm staying over the feet, and they're not moving from their spot. Any more questions? Nothing. I'm, I'll throw one last. Okay. Cool. 
Um, OK, so uh, we will probably be doing another, uh, another class, like apply all of this stuff, much like what we did with the anchor steps and the anchor styling. Megan and I went over all of the drills first, gives you a chance to practice and come back with any questions. And then we can, uh, we can, in the future, apply this to different West Coast swing patterns. So that gives you a little bit uh, of an idea of what to practice for your body isolations for West Coast swing. Any more questions? Perfect. We are going to sign off. Thanks, Benjamin. He's not behind the camera right now. He's about to be in a second. But hang tight. Brian and Megan are coming back with some spins and turns for your West Coast swing. Thanks for hanging out.